Tiger TV News with Hunter Cole. Mason or Logan Confan featuring Josh Wonderly, Evan Santos. Aiden Tregeer, Reese Fenstermacher, Seth Wagner, Amanda Bidler, Dylan Wenner. Jason Harris, Joe Hines, and your host, Mr. Gaston. Hi, I'm Seth Wagner, and welcome to another edition of Tiger TV News. We begin with hard-hitting questions, a new segment to Tiger TV. Let's send it to Evan. It all started with a video by Barstool Sports employee PFT Commenter. What I think about Joe Flacco, just like you, if you don't repent and trust in Christ, yeah. you won't be saved. And would that make him elite? Would I think, do I think Joe Flacco is elite? Yeah. No. Okay, thank you. Now it is a worldwide phenomenon. Is Joe Flacco an elite NFL quarterback? Articles all over the web contradict each other and debate the topic. Even people such as Ted Cruz, Barack Obama, and President Donald Trump have given their take on the topic. Is Joe Flacco an elite quarterback? You, you know what? I, I will let the fans answer that question, and, and I will let results answer that question. Capped off one of the greatest postseasons ever by a quarterback. More than 1,100 Passing yards, 11 touchdowns, no interceptions. Uh, I don't know about you, Joe, but I would say that qualifies as elite. I think Joe Flacco is actually a very elite quarterback. He won a Super Bowl. He did it really to a certain extent with that great arm of his. I would say absolutely he is an elite quarterback. People around the internet have made a flacometer to grade Flacco's performance and debate the question. The meter ranges from bum to a broken elite scale. I went around Fleetwood to get to the bottom of the debate. Guys, we're going around the Fleetwood hallways asking people if Joe Flacco is an elite NFL quarterback. Is Joe Flacco a elite NFL quarterback? Yes, he is. Is Joe Flacco a elite NFL quarterback? No, not at uh, all. Wow. Disappointing. Yes. Yes. Is Joe Flacco a elite NFL quarterback? For sure. Adam, is Joe Flacco a elite NFL quarterback? Nah, he's trash. The answer is no. Is Joe Flacco a elite NFL quarterback? Hell yeah, he is. The answer is yes. Is Joe Flacco a elite NFL quarterback? No, he is not. Joe Flacco is an elite quarterback. For the about a few years before that and a few years after, but he's dropped off. Yes. Because he won a Super Bowl and he was the starting quarterback. Mr. Farr, Mr. Farr, is Joe Flacco a elite NFL quarterback? No. The answer is no. He said no. He does not think he's elite. The question is, is Joe Flacco a elite NFL quarterback? Yes. Okay, maybe he's not. Is Joe Flacco a elite NFL quarterback? I think so. Now Fleetwood has given their take, but the question still stands. Is Joe Flacco an elite NFL quarterback? Reporting for Tiger TV News, I'm Evan Santos. Thanks, Evan. Graduation is coming up quicker than you may think. Let's see what the seniors have planned after they graduate from Fleetwood High. Where do you want to go to school? Uh, right now I'm undecided, but I have two schools in mind. It's uh, James Madison University and the University of Wisconsin in Madison. Uh, I'd love to attend Columbia University in New York, New York. I want to go to Kassan University once I graduate from high school. Well, I haven't really decided yet. I'm looking at a couple schools right now, though. We'll be attending North Carolina Central on a baseball scholarship. What do you want to major in? 
I would uh, like to major in American history and then hopefully become an American history professor. I want to major in political science and move into law. I want to uh, hopefully major in elementary education. Well, I want to major in chemical engineering. Business and recreational management. Why do you want to major in this? I want to do it because I like talking in front of people and I like to share like my knowledge with other people's knowledge. Well, it's a past, something I have a passion for. I like working with people, like legislation, like government, and I like law, so it all works out. I have been surrounded by little kids all my life, and I just found that um, I like teaching them, and I like to see how their minds work. Because I've always liked engineering, and like chemistry just sparked my interest when I first took it in high school. It's just stuff that interests me, and I feel like it's a good job field after college. What was your favorite high school experience? Uh, probably just goofing off with my friends and like making school an enjoyable place to be. I'd have to say that would be this year interning at the Senator Schwenk's office. I love leaving school halfway through, getting my classes done, going, going over there and getting some real world experience. It's a, I love the internship program that the school offers. I can't really pinpoint one specific area, but high school's fun in general. You do a lot of things, you grow up a lot and you get to experience more than you would in middle school or elementary school. My favorite experience was probably playing football and just all the team bonding activities that we do. Probably going to all the games and being in the student section and hanging out with my friends. How was the experience in high school? Well, uh, I moved here in 10th grade and at first I didn't like it. I sat on myself at lunch. I didn't really know anyone. I got picked on. And then eventually I got to where I am now and I know everyone and everyone likes me and yeah. Well, says anyone could uh, describe it. it. had its ups and downs. Uh, I liked some things, hated some other things. Hate's a strong word, but disliked some other things. And uh, overall, I think it was pretty well, went pretty good. I won't lie, it could be stressful at times, but uh, in all, it's very fun experience. It was pretty good, honestly. I kind of wish I didn't take as many hard classes, though, and had a little more time for fun. Went pretty well. I liked it here a lot. What advice would you give to an underclassman? Um, if a teacher allows you to use your phone in class, I suggest not using it because then you will start to slack off and not know anything and then get left behind. Uh, don't stress too much. Uh, the stress will come later. Uh, you won't know what you have to do until probably the end of your junior year or senior, beginning of your senior year. So don't stress about the future and just focus on the present and have fun with it. I would say just enjoy high school as much as you can and to not stress so much about every class you take. Just enjoy high school. Uh, take it a little easier on your schedule. Like, don't take as many hard classes. Give yourself a little bit of time for fun and do what you want to do. Walk on the right side of the staircase. It's now time for another edition of Two Minute Drill with Mr. Dreisbach. This is Mr. Dreisbach with your week 11 two-minute drill. The matchup of the week here is going to be the Dallas Cowboys versus the Philadelphia Eagles. This is a week where Carson Wentz proves that he is legit. I think Wentz is a go. As for you Cowboy fans, I think you got to keep an eye on the running back situation, whether or not Ezekiel Elliott is playing or not. Otherwise, you might want to start um, McFadden or Alfred Morris. But that's only if you're desperate because playing against Eagles' number one rushing defense, um, you should probably bench them all. Um, the Tennessee-Pittsburgh Steelers game, you start Bell and you start Brown every single week no matter what. Detroit versus the Chicago, both of these teams are trying to keep pace with the um, um, Vikings. This is a game where you definitely want to start Marvin Jones at wide receiver for the uh, Detroit Lions. Jacksonville versus Cleveland, you bench the entire Cleveland offense. You should not be starting them anyways. And I think this is a week if you need to buy fill-in, Blake Bortles might be a, be a decent fill-in quarterback for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Baltimore versus Green Bay, both of those teams are trying to keep pace as well of playoff hopes. Green Bay Packers, Devontae Adams is their best weapon. Tampa Bay versus Miami, if you were able to pick up one of the um, running backs for Miami, this is a week where Drake might shine through. Washington versus the New Orleans Saints. Um, Drew Brees has been putting up mediocre numbers, but I think this is a week where their rookie running back Kamara really goes off. Washington, um, Kirk Cousins is always legit at QB, especially if you're filling in for bye weeks. Kansas City versus the Giants. Um, you start anybody against the New York Giants, so the entire KC offense is a go. 
Arizona versus Houston. This is going to be a tough fought matchup. This is one where Adrian Peterson is either going to have a good game or a bad game, but as a fill in option, Peterson should be a go. Larry Fitzgerald is always a good choice if you need somebody to fill in for some receptions in about 50, 60 yards. The uh, Cincinnati Bengals versus Denver Broncos. You basically sit anybody on the Denver Broncos offense, unless it's Demarius Thomas. For the um, Cincinnati Bengals, A.J. Green is about your best option. Lastly, we've got the New England Patriots versus the Oakland Raiders. I think this is a week where Amari Cooper goes off big again. Lastly, Atlanta versus the Seattle Seahawks. Russell Wilson is a go, and I think this is a week where Julio Jones proves what he is. That's it for uh, Week 11, two-minute drill. Back to you, Seth. Thanks, Mr. Dreisbach. There are many electives in Fleetwood High School covering a variety of student interests. Let's send it to Logan for more information on Metal Shop. Mr. Heck teaches a variety of classes including wood shop, metal shop, and design classes. One of his intro classes is Metal Shop 1. There's no class that follows this. It is an introductory class to metalworking um, <clears throat> where we focus on things that the students might encounter later on in life. This class provides students with an array of skills that they might need after they graduate. We go over brazing, welding, uh, soldering, plasma cutting, uh, milling, machining, um, and I try to keep it with tools that I know that it will be in their tool bag in the future. If you are a person who enjoys working with their hands, this class is for you. Thanks, Logan. Now for Random Ramblings, here's Mr. Farr. I'm Mr. Farr, and this is Random Ramblings. So we have spotted, spotted lantern flies. They are definitely annoying little buggers. Um, when we were down in the stadium for homecoming, I think I killed at least seven of them that day. And my... Uh, radiator is taking off in the corner um, but spotted lanternflies are almost as bad as the stink bugs I don't know if you know the story of the stink bugs supposedly they were uh, being bioengineered to do something up at Rodale Institute and a tornado went through took off the roof and suddenly we had stink bugs well I don't know what happened with these spotted lanternflies they're really annoying I don't know if somebody was bioengineering them or not but uh, they're here they're everywhere kill them all don't let them kill the trees, and I'm running out of things to say, so the timer should be up because I'm talking about spotted lanternflies. Thanks, Mr. Farr. That does it for this week's episode of Tiger TV News. But first, we leave you with a behind-the-scenes look at what goes on to put together a Tiger TV show. Happy Thanksgiving, and until next time, I'm Seth Wagner.